Hey guys, Ham Solo here. Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. Uh, finally got out of uh, Hawaii and got back to the old uh, QTH here in Colorado. Uh, actually got held up as part of the uh, the blizzard, uh, whatever, delays. And uh, actually had to stay an extra day in, in uh, Honolulu. And so this is Christmas Eve 2022. And I'm sitting here in the house. And uh, thought I'd do a little quick... Uh, video talking about uh, something of interest that I've been uh, trying to uh, reinvigorate, I guess, since uh, I started in amateur radio only about a year and a half ago. Uh, I am interested in the 220 megahertz or 1.25 meter band. And so I've uh, been trying to foster that and, uh, and get people interested and, uh, you know, kind of go from there. So... So let's see if we can uh, talk about that, and I'll give you a little insight of what I've been doing with it, and uh, what we've been doing here in the uh, in the county, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I came out here to the car, wanted to show you uh, uh, what I'm talking about, how it all started, and so I think only my uh, maybe my third radio purchase. Uh, was a mobile for the inside of my car. And uh, that mobile radio, it was the Anytone uh, D578 UV3 Pro, I believe is the number. And uh, let me give you a, a little glance at that. So this radio sitting in here is a tri-band radio. So it'll do the 2 meter, the 70 centimeter, and also the 1.25 meter or the 220 megahertz. And so uh, once I got that radio in the car and got it installed, uh, I had started playing around a little bit with the 220. It was very hard to find anybody at all uh, that was on it. Uh, you'll see that bottom uh, uh, B channel, the W0MOG is a uh, 1.25 meter uh, repeater that is down in Colorado Springs. And that was like one of the only places that I could find any action on the 220 megahertz. And so uh, I programmed that in. I programmed in some of the simplex channels, like the one on the top. That's the national calling for uh, 220, 223.5. And so I was using that in order to uh, to get out. This radio, even though it's a tri-band, it'll do 50 watts on... Two meters, it'll do about, uh, I don't know, 45 watts or so on 70 centimeters. It only does five watts, only five watts on the on the 1.25 meter. So again, Christmas Eve, this is in Colorado. And so uh, as far as an antenna, it came with a tri-band that was about uh, maybe a little over three feet in height. Uh, I went with this compact tenna, and uh, that's what I was actually using uh, for a tri-band. And so for 5 watts, uh, getting out on the uh, 1.25, it seemed to work, you know, uh, decent enough, at least for, you know, several miles like that with the with the uh, 1.25. So meter. I had taken the one that I'd got from uh, Anytone or Bridgecom, and I had magnet mounted it to a piece of sheet metal like this. And so that tri-band magnet mount with an NMO connection and about, you know, a little over three feet tall. And uh, that's what I had sitting on this plate. And I would hook that in every once in a while on uh, portable activations. All right. So as I started to get uh, more interested in it, and I was bringing it up during meetings and I was trying to, uh, to talk on it as much as I could, uh, other people started to, to grasp on and then they started to... Uh, see if they could contact each other uh, using the 220 simplex. And so that prompted me to go, you know what? Uh, my five watts on my mobile antenna is not really getting out from where I live. And so I'm gonna do something about that. And so I went ahead and purchased uh, from uh, QRZ Swap uh, this 220 megahertz so radio. This is a TYT 9000D mono band for 220 megahertz. And right now I'm scanning uh, all of the uh, simplex channels 
uh, between 223.52 and 223.40, I believe. And that's uh, going every 20 to, uh, to do the simplex channels. And I put that uh, tri-band antenna up in my attic uh, where all my other antennas are. And so basically I've uh, been trying to uh, talk to people. You know, I get out sometimes and uh, I hear one person consistently about 20 miles away. Other people, there's a lot of hills over here. Uh, we're up in the mountains, and so it's hard to get uh, a lot of the other people unless they have directional antennas and they point right at me. And so I hear a couple people every now and then, one person fairly consistently. And so uh, those guys are up to the point now where they're they're actually holding like almost an informal net every morning now, uh, almost like a coffee net, I guess, at 8.30 in the morning here on the 220. And so... You know, uh, sometimes I can get on there. Uh, this guy has to relay for me because the other people, they can hear me. I'm putting out almost 50 to 60 watts with that radio. And so they can hear me, uh, but I can't hear them. And so that could be because I have that uh, uh, mobile tri-band up in the attic or whatever. And so I wanted to see if I could do something about that. So I contacted Rich with MFJ. Uh, he has been my uh, point of contact for... Uh, a while now and said hey what do you have for 220 i'm really interested i'm trying to get this thing off the ground and so he said well i'm going to send you probably one of our best antennas well he was right uh he sent me probably what is one of the best 220 antennas there possibly is it is a loop fed 10 element 11 foot long yagi uh, the only issue is uh, I don't have a tower or an antenna mast or a rotator or anything like that. And so uh, this one's going to have to go on the back burner uh, just simply because I can't put it up. And if, even if I did, I wouldn't be able to turn it right now. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can work on that, maybe get a rotator from somebody. Uh, I have not had any antennas uh, external to the house yet. And so it's going to be one of those maybe later on kind of things. I do want to uh, thank uh, Rich quite a bit uh, from MFJ for sending it, uh, but this one's going to have to go uh, a little on the back burner. So in the meantime, uh, what I did was uh, went online and I ordered a diamond antenna uh, in order to try to replace that little mobile tri-band I have up in the so attic right now. This is the diamond uh, F142A. 1.25 meter band, high performance gain, vertical antenna. It is about five and a half feet long. It's got three uh, radial arms that will come off from the bottom. It is a 5 8 wave phase element gain vertical. So it should be two uh, 5 8 wave side by sides inside of it. It says VSWR less than 1.5. And when I looked at the paperwork, basically at 222.0, it's about 1.4, dips down to the center, uh, the calling frequency, 223.5 is the lowest SWR, maybe a 1.1, 1.0. And then it goes back up towards the end at 225 megahertz, back to about a 1.4. So it is a, what's considered a high Q, most verticals are a high Q antenna, which means they have a fairly sharp dip uh, right in the center of a band. And so I'm going to try to get this thing mounted today. Uh, I'm going to uh, basically attach it to PVC. Uh, that is going to go over another piece of PVC that's going to be screwed into a thing that I'm going to bolt into my attic. And so uh, see if we can get this thing on the air. All right, I got the base bolted down on one of the uh, two by fours. I then affix the antenna with the uh, radials. Got a little choke there, three wraps about the size of a paint can, and then it goes up here to the top. Five foot long plus two foot of antenna mount sitting here in the attic, and that is the 220. Well, I'm sure it was you I heard I was downstairs. Um, 
Actually, uh, you know, yesterday, of course, was a busy family and friends day and uh, uh, had the radios playing with no traffic on anything yesterday. And um, I'm kind of surprised, usually uh, on uh, Christmas, People get new radios and want to try them out. I haven't heard them anything on Mark or anything, so I don't know. I guess it wasn't uh, uh, an amateur radio um, uh, Christmas or something, because, boy, it's been, uh, everything's been super quiet. But that's maybe a good thing. Everybody's um, uh, getting back together with family and friends, and uh, that's probably the important thing. Back to you, Greg, Enzo XCR. So when I had the mobile antenna up, I could never hear Greg at all. He wouldn't even break my squelch. He's at least breaking the squelch now, but uh, it's a lot of static behind his signal. FYR on 223.5. Okay, uh, Greg, if you were talking to me, I caught about 70% static and about 30% audio. Uh, I've got my new diamond uh, F142A up, and I am, uh, at least hearing your voice now, uh, but there is a lot of static, uh, behind it. Uh, this is K0FYR. So that's uh, kind of the end of the uh, the 220 uh, video with the install of my uh, my new antenna up in the attic. Uh, again, stumbled 
uh, not stumbled, but uh, was listening in for the guys talking the day after Christmas. Uh, nobody was talking on Christmas Day, so I couldn't really test out uh, the new antenna until I got them on the normal 8.30 uh, coffee talk. And um, and so we traded signals back and forth. Everybody's hearing me really strong. Uh, I've got people, uh, I think in total we had four or five people uh, that were talking uh, all there. Uh, the only one I, I was having difficulty with is Greg, and he's only pushing out five watts. He's behind some hills. And so... Uh, and see if he improves his uh, system or his radio. Uh, but uh, I think the intent is we're really trying to make 220 get back off the ground. And uh, the problem that we have is uh, we've lost uh, frequency bandwidth uh, because it was being used. And so some of it was allocated away. And so, uh, you know, we're trying to get the thing back up and going, uh, trying to see if we can show or prove that uh, uh, people use the uh, 1.25 meter band. And so that's the intent. That's what I've been trying to do. Uh, got a radio, now a decent antenna up in the attic. And uh, I'll see if at some point might be able to get a, uh, a mast and maybe uh, maybe get that directional Yagi up uh, uh, that uh, Rich gave me from MFJ and see if we can get that also, uh, uh, maybe uh, get some weaker signals coming out of that. And so uh, this is Ham Solo. This is K0FYR. Uh, working on the 220 megahertz, and I hope you appreciated it. Uh, talk to you later.